Good morning from the west coast of Colombia. I'm at the moment staying in Tolu at the west coast at the Golf of the Marasquillo. And I'm part of a day tour today. So you will be my company for this. Um, the day tour covers three different islands. And one of them are we are on right now. It's called Tintipan. And the other two is like Isla de Santa Cruz, Isla Mucura, where we will spend the day. Um, to give you some information how it is. So how did I get here? There's tons of um, agencies where you can book the tour. And I just booked mine in my hotel, Skyview Hotel, where I will show you at the end of this video because the sunset, incredible there. And yeah, if you ever wanted to be special and you're a gringo, as they say here, I'm not a gringo, Gr gringo they call the US people, but like we, maybe European, if you ever feel special, let's say a non Spanish speaker, then this is uh, your place, like in Tulu itself hardly any tourists in terms of Europe maybe also US it's it's less popular there and I almost slipped here yeah but I decided to go because I think it's pretty cool so some impressions uh, online and the tour gonna be amazing so back to the facts how much do you need to spend to be part of it ice um, paid 85,000 pesos which is around uh, 15 to 17 dollars depending on the exchange rate and yeah three tours included I think on the boat just now there have been like around 20 people maybe and three stops starts around I think 9 9 15 in the morning so you have enough time to do your breakfast and this area is also known as at least I read online like it is the Caribbean of um, Colombia and this is how it looks look at this like full of palm trees and all three islands are pretty close to each other also in this uh, package there's uh, the lunch included as well as the drinks um, of course like if you go on several islands then you have a limited time there and we spend now or we are on the island of Tintipan for the first hours also until lunch and then go further it's like Islam Muruka I've read there's like more of the high class hotels there we can also spend the night for a rest here Tintipan doesn't look like that there is a hotel or if I'm wrong maybe we haven't discovered yet and um, yeah, opposite side of us I don't know if I probably it's not visible yet in the like here at the back, if you see here, there's Isla Santa Cruz, which is also known as the most dense populated island in the world. Like just from the distance now I can see it's like house on house, so kind of crazy. I will give you some big background information later. How many people there are actually living. And the water here pretty clear, what I can see now. Clear waters. Also some blue spots, maybe we will maybe walk further, we can see. Yeah, and as I've said, I'm the only not Spanish speaking. Yeah, not Spanish speaking. I mean, I have A1 level, I can understand a lot, but my speaking is just horrible. Um, but somehow I can survive. Also like in the city itself, I, I haven't seen any, any other guys, white guys like me. Are pretty cool you can feel special <laughs> if you want to okay look at this here we go to some let's see the water also a bit cool. I was super exhausted from last days didn't do too much. Last yesterday there was a game of Germany against Colombia. I watched together with the hotel owner just when I arrived. He was there, so you can see some more like blue water 
because I know in the back I can see some buildings. So probably on some hotels there. But we were we will walk back to, the, to our starting point where also the lunch is served. And I was talking also to the hotel owner, um, he's actually from Medellin. And yeah, some advice what to do here. He also said, yeah, you have to go on tour. So if you plan coming here, I think the islands will pretty will be worth it. And but as, as I've said, like it's not so popular for foreign tourists to do is what I can see is a lot of like Colombians here on the tour like spending their, their holiday here maybe because it's short and affordable also the tour is not uh, really that expensive so maybe a, a good little escape to the beach if you want to know how to get to the to Tulu so basically I took a flight from Medellin to Tulu it has an airport but I've also like could hear from others that um, you can use a bus um, there's a bus station in Tulu it's re really just a small small village or city I don't know and but it has its own airport and pretty small obviously and from there I think only there's like bicycles uh, bicycle drivers so you you hop on the back like a rickshaw if you want to Say like in India for example and they will bring you around that's the most um, vehicle I've, I've seen to transport like tourists at least or some tuk-tuks or moto taxis if you want to say um, are available and they will bring you around they are pretty cheap I think like maybe 4,000 pesos so it's less than one euro from the airport it was a bit more I, I didn't know yet but I mean it's not a lot of money so I think you can support them with this and pretty good then yes and yeah my trip after Tolu will be to Cartagena so I will take this bus like I just <laughs> told you about now and let's see we we're gonna get closer to the to the port where we landed when we came here and then we show around I will bring you around here a bit. What I can see now here is already they have like this volleyball net so you can play volleyball in the water. Also pretty cool actually. Some hammocks. Spin some in the shadow. So we are at the port now. If you want to call it port. I guess the place where you arrive at the beach with the Deep, deep on sign there you can see huts where it's like super warm everyone is trying to get some shadow and you can lie down here a bit uh, kids playing volleyball and that's the water the water is actually like super warm so you can easily have the best time there. Yeah, we will go there after this. But first I will show you around a bit more. And then maybe some story time about how traveling in Colombia was so far for me. I mean it's only the, the fourth day already, third day maybe. And so far pretty good. But here you can see all the huts. Like here over there we will get the, the dinner later. There's also some, a bar, you can get uh, coconuts, drinks, I hear people like ordering the, the coconuts. And of course, like always, no matter where you are, the reggaeton will always be there, which is perfect. You can see fade again, so if you hear the, or remember the, the last video, or the video before, was it? In Comuna Trece, where I said Fercho is present everywhere. There you have the best example on the left side. It's a more Fade and Osuna. If you like it, check it out. Pretty good song. My friend doesn't like it, but I think it's pretty good. 
Actually, I'm one of the only guys in my friend group who enjoys reggaeton. I don't know how it started. I think I was like 15 or something. I always liked the beats. I never could speak Spanish. I mean, still I can't. <laughs> At least I try my best, so pretty cool though. So let's go in. Let's go in the water and see. It's a pretty, like in my bag, I still have my, my drone and everything. So I will put some drone footage every now and then in here too, so you can see. Oh, my slippers. My slippers. And you can see how it looks from the top. Like, I met some of the Santa Cruz just now. When we go after, after our lunch here, I will put it in the Oh, there are some stones. Take care. I'll put some of the footage in there. Also over there are some private islands. There's only one house on the um, island. I don't know, maybe it's a hotel or something, but it's pretty close to here. That looks cool. So now in the water, like kids playing volleyball there. All the people enjoying the sun and the, the water is really super, super nice. I, I won't go too deep. <laughs> So I still have my bag in there. I said drive back, but uh, my drone is inside. And I know that's the thing, you know, if you travel alone, you have to take care of your things. Maybe one of the things considering. So, the last few days, I was like I told you in the first video, I was with my friends from Colombia or my friend from Colombia in Medellin. I met her there to get around. Now I'm a few days alone, and yeah, how it is traveling alone? What do you need to consider? So far, like all my friends at home from Colombia, they also say take care of your phone and stuff. So of course, I'm, been, I'm a bit more aware not I'm leaving my things everywhere. I was also talking about it with the hotel owner, but here's a thing also. They all say, you know, if we think about Colombia, he asked me, what do you think about? Because every time he asks someone from Europe or US, they all think about, you know, it's dangerous, they will kidnap you drugs so all the stereotypes you know and you know the Colombian people are so friendly they are helpful um, so please please don't believe everything what's in the media of course it makes sense to um, to be more cautious and also him he said it um, don't walk out at night especially with your phone out and flex your jewelry your watch and stuff just be like, I think, as a new, as a, as a normal person would do. I think it's everywhere in the world, not only in Colombia. Of course, they just have this like bigger history with the drugs and gangster life and everything, and the, and the cartels, and whatever. But it's such a beautiful country, and then you will see next days and weeks. And I hope I can convince you about this. This is kind of my, my mission also, like. Um, when I'm out here showing you stuff, I want to like clear up some stereotypes. At the same time, of course, I will do some highlight shots also on my Instagram. But in general, here my mission for the vlog is like to show you how things are really, are, how the people are. Um, I hope next time we can like bond with a, with a few more people, um, especially when I'm alone. But also in the weekend in Cartagena, we are with my Colombian friends. So. We will see how them are, how Colombian people really are. I have a lot of friends of them also in, in Germany. Um, it's always fun with them. So they know how to party, that's for sure. They're super helpful all the time if you need something. So it's pretty cool. Maybe also make some Q&A about like um, later, how they think about us Germans, how they think about Europeans, what their best, what the best things to do in Colombia for them, but they think like Colombia makes it worth visiting. Actually pretty cool. I think this, this could be something. So we are now in Islote de Santa Cruz. Woo! <laughs> it's the most dense populated island in the world. And I'm with a guide here, so we will just follow around and film it and I will not speak that much. So she just said like 
also mm. Santa Cruz is also the capital of San Bernardo like it's the 10 islands we are visiting three of so there's also a school streets now, that's how it looks. So, tiny streets, graffiti. Pretty tough, like, since I told you I'm the only one who cannot speak Spanish. But, with my understanding, it's way easier for me than speaking. So let's see. Maybe I can explain every now and then so we just made a stop and um, yeah because I will respect her to tell everything so I can also like <laughs> reproduce it for you so she said in this um, area they have no internet at all obvio we are like on the sea what you also um, saw in our or in my drone footage and she just explained that in every household they only have like three to five liters of water every day for drinking showering so it's crazy i mean for sure it's it's on the on the beach it's a beach it's an island there's no beach here and super dense so it's hard to get i saw some boats which uh, would always provide uh, water for all the foods also but nutrition and water is limited and especially water it's you cannot tell it's super hot here and they, they try to sell everything they have some small shops to um, sell all the necessities but every day boats have to come and I think it's a good thing like normally obviously those um, tourist boats are not so cool but for them they are really important to support their income and that's a good thing so entering this island is uh, 5,000 or 10,000 pesos extra which is basically two euros or two US dollars so it's super affordable and if it helps the people then you gladly should do it also buy some stuff here if you can support them and I think it's a pretty good good thing right now we're going to the show's aquarium with the local fishes and yeah they are super big like look at this I try to zoom in a bit Seems cool. 
cool and a cool experience. I don't know. I think that the fish is not enjoying it. Like every time they leave him, he would swim away. So probably quite uh, intense for him. But if if he's swimming back here, I will try to. There you are, like there, the guys. It's super huge, super huge. Crazy. It seems friendly. <coughs> and yeah, let's see. Next boat is coming already, so I think that we will not spend too much time here. And our last stop is Isla Mukura, and there we see Ach right now. So, final, final islands. Isla Mukura. Um, that's the most touristic island, I would say. Um, you can also sleep on this island. I just checked the map. There is uh, three big hotels, and the others are more like, I think, huts, which you can stay. Um, rather high price hotels, what I can tell, because I checked before in my research from where to stay if one night there would be cool and this is the typical resort feeling there I would say so probably $100 plus a night um, rather popular if you go there with your fiance or something um, also I checked their Instagram it looks super cool a lot of good foods. I don't know which kind of offers there they have in terms of all-inclusive or something like this. Um, but it looks pretty nice. Um, to be part of, to come back to the tour, it's the third island. So the boat driver just said we have one hour here, and let's just walk around and see what it has to offer. It looks pretty similar than the other one, I don't know. Probably the private beaches of the hotels are better maintained, I don't know. And we are more at the, at the port now, where all the, the boats are stopping. Um, So some bars and shops you get fresh mango, fresh pineapple, piña <laughs> and so you can pop like if you want to go snorkeling, floaties, they have everything here so like basically yes. it would be in any um, place at the beach. You can literally find anything here. Um, yeah. Ah, hola. Yeah, like back then, I didn't film you when I did the, um, when we had lunch. I didn't want to disturb the people and feel un uncomfortable filming. So I was already talking to some people. Pretty funny. They all are kind of surprised because I'm the only guy like me here and. But they're always happy if they see I can speak Spanish a bit at least, so I can I can have a normal conversation. Sometimes I need to ask, and but somehow with hand and feet, <laughs> you understand each other. And yeah, I got complimented by a few boys. Also, nine a win is a win, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty nice people here, pretty friendly, and. See, I can show you the water a bit, but yeah, let's see. Find our way there. Oh yeah, here we have super beautiful water. I guess like it's more blue than before at the other island we went to for the first time. It's also a bit cooler the water. Now look at this. of them having their best time relaxing so therefore like I don't know $20 or less less than $20 for a day 
I think it's perfect activity. If you compare it, I know it from, I've been to Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. I would always pay like around $50 in high season for this. So right now it's, um, we're here in June. It's also high season. There's a lot of public holidays, so a lot of people are here. And for this cheap price, it's really a bargain. And so it's kind of a no-brainer. Just do it. Here's not much to do anyway. And maybe you can, I think I would probably try to find at least one night to stay yeah, yeah. here in Isla Mokura because there's other cool tours from here to do also if you want to go diving there's diving spots apparently um, it's not my thing and I cannot give you any information about this and how much it would cost but I think uh, it's a, really, a pretty good place I don't know I can try to find a way how to get to the hotels but Maybe walk the other, the other direction. Let's see. After this, we go to to Cartagena. The weekend. Um, it's a weekend. It's happy holiday. Damn, with my friends, like I told you. Um, from there on, we are going around together. And hey, bro, there. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Cruz del Islote. Islote. Yo, Isla Mucura, amigo. Ah, yeah. España. Sí, ¿Quién más anima el tereteo? <laughs> isla Mucura, Archipiélago San Bernardo. La mejor isla del mundo para pasar un pasadilla lindo. El amigo, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, Fabi, ¿no? Fabi. Yo me llamo Fabián. Casi ahí, casi, casi. Fabián, Fabi, Fabián, Fabi. Yo, Fabián. Sí, sí, yo, Fabián. Fabián sí. también. Sí, Pero sí. Mi, solo mi, mi madre me llama. Eh, me llama eh, Fabián. Ah, ok. Bien, Tocayo. Bien, 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 <laughs> Fabián. <laughs> ok. So here you, you hear my, my broken Spanish. But people are super friendly, ¿sí? Happy to see some from, from here. <laughs> Funny. Let's see if we can make our way up. But I think also my people from my boat, they just picked the next free uh, spot here. Uh, I, now, now I got a cringe attack because I, like in this fast way where he approached me, um, I wanted to say only my mom calls me Fabian. <laughs> and I said me amo, which basically means I call myself Fabi. So Spanish speakers, here's your love. At least I recognize it, so I'm making progress on this. But you know, like I can, I can really, I think I can understand Spanish a lot. But like speaking is a whole different thing. So especially if you're getting um, approached fastly and you don't have to, time to think, and it's live on camera. Now I get caught. I will not cut this. <laughs> then, yeah, I still need to think a lot. Um, reading is fine. I thought he meant me, but no. And yeah, reading is, is basically fine. Also understanding, but yeah. Like you just heard, probably the English people or none. Hispanics, they don't they don't get it. They're like, ah, he can speak Spanish, but no. Just a fraud. Gracias, <laughs> señor. So there's a way to the other side. Maybe we can walk there too. It's possible. Okay, gracias. Okay, here's the Parque Nacional. So let's see. You know, after like I come back from the tour. Because like since it was a 30 minutes ride, I thought, yeah, I will not show you the boat ride. Um, nothing happening, just 30 minutes on the boat. And it's super loud, I cannot really speak. So let's see where we are ending up here. So I think here on the side, there are those, uh, it's not even heads. It's like a, more like a hostel feeling, I would say, rather rusty. <coughs> I've read um, 
because in the morning I in my hotel when I had breakfast I asked a guy what, what his plan is for today and he said he's going with his family to Isla Mukura like where we are stay, staying now so I think he's doing this kind of hotel activity and obviously you can only get there with a, with a boat so there's no like a not like a ferry or something so it's, you need always an agency or like a private boat which will bring you to this um, island and for this I think they were like with his family so his wife his um, daughter and him they paid around like 25,000 each a person and they also said it's not possible to bring big luggage or rather a H, a 8 kg maximum so keep this in mind in case you want to do it that you probably not bring your big luggage and he said he would probably leave his luggage at the current hotel he's staying like mine it's a skyview hotel um, which I promised you showing you later and then we see here we are basically Slip. Uh, anyway, I don't know what to see and I don't know where I'm going, but it looks green and nice. So far, I'm lucky with mosquitoes. Haven't had any problems. I saw some lizards already, some big birds, like my friend said. The bigger ones are called chulo <laughs> or chulos. I only know it from the song Papi Chulo. <laughs> I have to figure out what this means. It's like Spanish language. You always think, or especially the songs, you just think it's like, ah, oh, it sounds so, so sexy and everything. And eventually it's also a sexy meaning. Um, most of the lyrics are always about <laughs> having fun with each other or heartbreak songs. I love the music. We are back. Just arrived back from the tour. And yeah, is it worth it? You may ask. So, sum it up. Three islands we got. We started at 9 15 in the morning. Now it's around like. 415 price 85,000 so a whole day including lunch um, for lunch you could choose between pork and fish it came with arepas bananas and arroz de coco which is basically rice coconut flavor which was super delicious also the, the fish was super good so highly recommendable um, but the tours itself so Tidipan the first island and we spent about three hours and then the lunch came and later we went to Santa Cruz Hola. we went to Santa Cruz um, for like around 50 minutes I would say so it's interesting to see everything um, see the island it's a unique experience I would say I mean what could you say you've been to the most dense populated island on the world I also only found it by accident and later we went one more hour to Isla Bukura which I think the part where we stayed was super tiny and also uh, not much to do, not much space, no real I had the front seat in the boat 
thought I could make some footage, but the waves were too heavy, I think, tonight. Also, no sunset, so the promised sunset. I don't know if I can show you, but I will try and see later from my rooftop. I will show you my hotel later too. We are just on the way. Better. I am just on the way to it. Uh, it's only like five minutes walking. Um, I can show you around Kulu a bit. So I'm, Tulu is basically the, I think, the district that I'm, I'm staying in Santiago de Tulu, which is one of the small villages or cities, if you want to say so. There's like on the coastline or the promenade a lot of small restaurants some vendors selling different kind of fruits, mango, and fun fact, all in English and in German, avocado, it's called like this, in Spanish it's aguacate, I hope I, I said it right, otherwise it's the at least second mistake in my video I made. Spanish language, but correct me if you found more. That's you need to learn and practice. It's also a good chance being here in Colombia in a Spanish speaking country. Also, my professor, she is from Colombia. That's why I also learned like more. I mean, what do I say? Learn more Latino Spanish than the Spanish from Spain. But the pronunciation is also a bit different with certain words. Exactly. So, here's some vendors again. Seems, compared to other places, I think it seems not really busy. Like, of course it's a holiday destination but I feel there's not many tourists here or it's just well distributed along the many shops uh, it's more or less like everything necklace drink catchers Necklace is the most common thing. I think more or less every every stand here yeah, we have some sandals, toys. Quite windy now. somewhere I would say rather not it's also not not the cleanest water but it looks still super beautiful in, in my eyes but in it, it, it it has its charm it has its charm that's for sure it's something else just but you cannot compare also the islands the beaches I think probably in, in Asia they're just they're just crazy but for also for the price here it's definitely worth it I would say you just shouldn't compare it to like I don't know Caribbean Sea or Asia where you have like really blue blue water crystal clear 
that's something you shouldn't expect here but like still we have beautiful weather it's warm not to say hot and fresh fruits very affordable very very affordable food so if you're in for this then it's definitely definitely worth it but let's see what Cartagena can do next time I think it's it will be rather right destination to party also like from what I've heard it's especially for, for people from the US their main destination to go to, to when they go to Colombia um, also what the other guys told me it's the more or the most touristic city in Colombia since it's at a coast it's big um, but yeah we will see how it will go next day and yeah still also at the other spots I couldn't really see another uh, white sausage as I like to call it and, but it's cool I like that people try to talk to me and I answer in broken Spanish guys as I promised I will show you around my hotel a little bit more it's a Skyview hotel um, I paid around I think maybe 23 euros per night um, just found it on booking last minute so it was available and they have this uh, rooftop pool here and if you go to the back um, we will see the amazing view um, to the beach or on the beach and the sunset there is simply amazing I will just zoom in a bit that you can see there's a lot of certain kind of colorful birds which I don't know but look at this I will zoom in a bit from here Yeah, it's simply amazing like if you see when the sun is setting later it's purely orange um, just so beautiful and that's it I will share it in my highlights on Instagram there you can see it perfect vibe last night um, I don't know the shower right? which the guy had but I shazammed the song and put it on top of my highlights and stunning view cool hotel I think that day was perfect tonight there's game the final game of the championship in Colombia Medellin against Bogota and I bonded with the with the hotel owner and he invited me over to the game to watch together and will be cool perfect closing of the day so see you soon from Cartagena there's the bird I don't think it's super cool super cool cheers mate